Hi, I'm Chris and welcome to another video. And in today's video, I want to cover the importance of moving on. By this I mean, if we're looking back in anger, if we're constantly living, looking at the past, being angry about everything that's happened to us, things that have been done to us, and all of that, we can't move on, we're trapped there. Also the same is, is if you're looking forward with nothing but a veil of fear and anxiety. That just keeps us where we are. So we can't move from the square that we're at. Bad things happen in our life. Traumatic things happen in our life. People do shitty things to us. It happens. Whether it's family, friends, people we're in relationships with, people we work with, bosses, you know, the list goes on. But what happens then is we get these different mindsets and some people allow it to fester. And this now becomes the excuse of why they can't achieve anything in life. It's all crap. But it becomes this excuse, and this excuse then becomes the belief system. Oh, I can't do this because so and so had done that, and they'd made this happen, and ruined my childhood, it's ruined my uh, relationships with people, so on and so on. It had had an impact, it had had an effect, but you are allowing it to have this hold. Once an event's happened, Good or bad, it's happened. Now it's an image in the mind, a memory, and all memories are live. I work a lot with people with PTSD. Sometimes it's one event that's triggered this. Sometimes it's multiple events that have triggered this. But if you keep blaming, past, blaming what's happened to you, blaming everyone and everything, you can never take the responsibility to move forward. When we admit that we're the problem, because everything is in our head, when we admit that we're the problem, we can then take responsibility for it, grab it with both hands and we can literally get rid of it, chuck it away. Same goes as if we're looking at the future in a negative, fearful way. Right down to, you've been invited out. Oh, I can't do that. What if people are talking about me? What if people think this about me? What if people think that about me? What if, what if, what if? Well, the what ifs haven't happened. And if they've happened in the past, well, why are you being angry at it? That event's gone. You might go out another 10,000 million billion times, never experience anything bad. However, you may do. But if you're preempting it and you're waiting for it, you're going to find it because you're looking for it. It's time to let go of the past and it's time to control your future. But can you control the future? When I work with my clients with anxiety, we can't control the future. Anything can happen, we don't know. No one knows. But what's causing the anxiety is an image in the head that you've created of it all going tits up, right? But it's a lie. It hasn't happened. This image is made up. And your thought process has absolutely no action on the outcome. It has no influence even on the outcome. Unless you've given in to that voice and you've stopped doing what you want to do out of fear.
or you've thought about it in a positive way and now you've gone down a different path. But it doesn't matter what you think, the event will happen with or without you. Have you missed out? Have you missed an opportunity? If you go to this event and it turns out you didn't like it, it's not for you, that's fine because now you can make a rational decision, well that was shit. Not for me, I don't think I'll ever be doing that again. That's fine. But you've made that decision, you've made that rational, intellectual decision to do that. If we do not if we're not doing something out of fear, well you're not in control of that. You will regret not doing it. Later on down the line. Especially when people come back and tell you what a great night they've had or what a great event it was or whatever it may be. And then you're like, oh, what you went now? You can't. What happens now is that image that you had that you were scared of has now turned into an image of anger. So now you regret not going. And every time you think about not going, you get angry about it. And the cycle goes round and round. So we need to break that pattern. Easiest thing to do is just go to these things. If it turns out, well, brilliant. If it turns out to be crap, then okay. But you've done it and you've experienced it. You might go there, you might not like what's happening. But you get talking to somebody and a new door of opportunity opens somewhere in your life. But we can't do anything new if we keep saying no and we can't do anything new if we keep looking back. You don't drive your car looking in the rear view mirror, do you? So at some point you're going to crash. You don't walk looking behind you, you look in front. You look in front because you can see what's in front and see what's coming and see what's about to happen and then you can make a decision on how you're going to do it. You can never be anxious during the event because your brain is working out each step now on how to deal with it, what you're going to do, so on and so on. What the brain can do is get you to freeze up and get you to fight what it sees as a threat and get you to run away from what it sees as a threat. Uh, what What's that going to achieve in your life, really? And again, then you've done that. Now that turns from a, an image of fear to an image of anger, a memory of anger. You can waste a whole life doing that, being stuck in that whirlpool crap thinking. Is that the life you want for yourself? Is that the life you want for the people around you? The people you care about? Whether you do or don't, it's your choice because you have the choice to do anything. I can think back to a few times in my life where I've missed opportunities. Don't look at them with anger now, maybe. You know, more of a wonder, really, of what might, might have my life turned out like if I had taken those opportunities. Can't go back and find out. So, I've let them go. Letting go forgiving, whatever you need to do, helps you. Because no one else can feel your emotions but you. No one else can feel your feelings but you. So, it's time to let go of the images of anger. It's time to control the images of
Thank you for watching. I'm Chris Harrison, Mindset Self-Care Focus Therapy. Love it if you'd like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'd love it even more if you'd stay around and watch some more videos. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye now.